Hey everybody, Keenan Phillips here and with me, I have a very special guest, director of all things metal, anything steel shaft related we do, Mr. Scott Cook. And Scott, how you doing today? I'm doing great. Good to be here. No, it's awesome. So today we have a very special treat for you guys. We're going to cover the new topic for us, Project XLS. So when we, uh, we sat down for the meeting, I still remember it. It was from a marketing perspective and I handle some junior development stuff for us as well. Uh, you see these young kids coming up and they just, they bring gas every time they swing. They swing it so fast. And even with that, obviously, they create a lot of spin. So even with our X7, our Project X line, we still just needed that next step down kind of from a lower spinning shaft standpoint. And we just kind of set Scott off on a quest to design the lowest spinning shaft he could. And this is what he came up with. Yeah, so it was a, it was a challenge. The, uh, the request that you said you're looking for a shaft that uh, definitely spins it less and potentially hits it lower. And it's for the stronger player profile like you talked about. <clears throat> so... This is not just a heavier Project X. This is a totally new design, and it comes in three different flexes. Uh, similar to the Project X, it has a 6.0, which is 120 grams, a 6.5, 125 grams, and a 7.0 for the strong guys. We got it at 130 grams. So um, all flavors, all designs, uh, and, and it's ready to go. Yeah, so if you ever play with Scott, you're going to see the 7.0 definitely in his bag. Not. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's something there, but another thing is, and I think you hit on it there, it's not just a stiffer Project X. So that's something to keep in mind, and I think going into it, in my mind, it's like, okay, we're going to create a lower spinning Project X, with sound, which sounds crazy to do to a lot of folks, but uh, you didn't just stiffen it up, you didn't just stiffen the tip section, you created a very unique design. Uh, for Project XLS. So just talk a little bit about that design and why it's so unique from a bin profile standpoint. In, in interesting, you said a, de a unique design. Actually, there's in this family, there are 27 unique designs. We design a shaft specifically for a pitching wedge all the way through to a three iron. Each design is different. So when we're looking at this shaft, we're, we've got what we call constant mass, taper tip, discrete length. And really what that means is there's a lot of different designs behind the shaft. And what we're trying to do is optimize each club in your bag to do exactly what we want it to do. And then Project, Project XLS also, for anybody watching this, anybody that's seen Project XLS, one of the first things you're going to notice is that finish on it. That yeah. brushed chrome finish. How do we come up with that? I know that was a project for you down in Amory, Mississippi, so our steel plant down there. Uh, I know it was a little bit of work around, but how did we come up with that? And it looks so good. Yeah, you know, obviously we've been making bright, shiny chrome shafts for a long, long time. And we wanted something that looked different because the shaft performs different. So this was a design we worked on and it's a satin finish. It's a non-glare finish, so it, it looks really, really cool outside. And then we've got this really bold graphic that stands out and is really unique to this whole family of shafts. Yeah, yeah so it's such a good looking product, which of course is always a plus. Uh, not just performs well, but looks good. And I know with this shaft specifically, like I said, we did a lot of testing on tour and with our robot, which we have here in Memphis, Tennessee at our Ridgeway Test Center. Uh, so Scott's the man that runs the robot and uh, we you know, tested the shaft, put it up against our lowest spinning products and our competitors as well. And how did that fare for everyone that, else? That did really well. In fact, that before we even went one step further, we always have to validate the design. And you were looking for a shaft that had lower spin and lower launch. And obviously we have to prove that out. We, we do have a robot that uh, swings very, very consistently and we can put it at different swing profiles. For this particular test, we were looking at higher swing speeds. So we were doing seven irons anywhere from 95 to 105 miles an hour. Um, pretty quick swing, swing speeds for seven iron. And when we tested side by side against Project X, all our own product, even competitors product, we, we got exactly what we wanted, a lower launch, launching, lower spinning shaft. That's, that's awesome to hear. And that's something always, especially from the marketing side of things, that we like when a product actually performs how it's meant to and supposed mm -hmm. to. So once again with Project XLS, I wanna get into the unique bin profile of it. So it's a really unique bin profile. It's something we found when actually product testing looking for a lower spinning shaft. Um, and can you just kind of talk about the bin profile of LS and what makes it so specific for that lower spinning player? Exactly. So there's, there's two things or two big elements that me as a designer gets to do. We, we can manipulate the where the material is in the material placement. Um, the more material we put in, the stiffer it's going to get. The other thing is we've got geometry, the bigger diameters. And I know you talked about this in some of your other videos and you're spot on. Bigger diameters are a little bit harder to bend, stiffer. Smaller diameters are easier to bend. So how we get there changes the spin parameters, launch parameters, and how it feels. 
So typically on a Project X, we've got a straight tapered shaft. It's stepless straight taper, and what we do is we have a straight taper. It connects the button to grip. Here, we're actually, although it's very subtle, we're changing that slope multiple times in here to get the performance that we're looking for. So once again, definitely a product we're super excited for with Project XLS. Scott, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so Project XLS, if it sounds like a shaft for your game, if you struggle with spin, I know I definitely do. You can find it at True Temper Performance Fitting Centers and give it a try.